Welcome to the Super Channel. This is Super Pep. Now I'm going to show you how to get 100% blood on any class of your servants that you find and not worry about having them die and losing them. Um, go ahead and get this video started. We're going to go to your Steam. All right, if you have it on Steam, then you go down to V Rising. You want to right click and go to Properties. You want to turn off Steam Cloud Saves. Once you get that turned off, you exit out of that. Then you start your game up. And once your game gets going, it'll take you to the little title screen there. Once you get to the title screen, you're going to go to continue and pick whichever game that you have your prisoners on that you want to save. Then you want to go to, mine's going to be on Super Dupes World. So, I'm going to click that and then I'm going to go to uh, go to directory. Now, when I click go to directory, it's going to move this out of the way. It's going to open up a file down here. Right here. And this is where your saves are. See, I had five uh, saves and there's going to be five files. So this being the save that's on the one that I want to play, that means that everything is fine. I'm wanting to upgrade the character, I mean the prisoner that I'm standing in from when I go on to the game. And everything's 100%, hadn't lost the character. The character is at the correct, I mean at the bloodline that it was in regular game. So this, I made this file, put it over here for backup so you can make a file right click up here hit new make a folder for your backup or save your backup wherever you want all right so this is going to be my backup right here you make that backup so you don't save so you don't lose your character right there so you want to right click that and hit copy and paste it wherever you're wanting your backup at then this is my copy of my backup so i pasted it over here we're gonna go to the game. We're gonna hit that right there, and we're gonna go ahead and host the world. And then I'm gonna come back after the game gets booted up. All right, now my game's booted up. So I'm gonna go up here, and this is the prisoner that I have. It's level 91 scholar. Now I'm wanting to bump her up to 100%. Now, when you're using the irradiated gruel, to uh, bump them up, you have a 35% chance of that turning them into a mutant. You have a, for you to get one to 2% added to their blood level. So she's 91. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna feed her twice. And she lived through both. So that's fine. All right, most of the time you want to click uh, and leave game right here once you leave game you're gonna want to go back out to these two folders that we had open and this right here now with her being fed twice is going to be your new backup so you want to right click that backup again we're gonna copy it and then you're going to delete this one over here don't over don't overwrite it because somehow some stuff gets messed up and then uh, that's just not the way I've done it. Sometimes it didn't work that way. So I deleted this file and I copied this file back over here to my backup. All right. So once you do that, then you're going to, when you boot your game back up, just in case something happens to your player, you're going to have a 94% um, blood level person here. So we're just going to go ahead and feed her three times. Hopefully she'll change into the mutant on one of these. There she goes. Now once she changes to the mutant, we're just gonna click and leave game. All right. Then once you get let, once you leave the game, you can alt tab back over to your games again. Now this file is going to be the one where she mutated so we want to right click that we want to delete that we're going to go back over here to our backup we're going to copy that 
then we're going to paste that back in once you get that pasted back in there then you can go back to continue your game and see now when we come back in she's going to be right there back at uh 91 blood level so thanks for viewing this is the super channel i'm super pep and i'll holler at you